our sales manager contacted me and said, Hey, we're going to need to back off that spend just a little bit because I don't know if we can handle all these leads. And oh, no. that's a great problem. <laughs> to be completely honest, we didn't think that we had the ability to scale. Um, like we've done working with Glenn. So when Glenn told me, oh yeah, we can like double the size of your account. <laughs> I, I didn't really believe him at first. Now I definitely believe him. <laughs> so today I have Julia Corey with me and she is from Cable Bullet, um, which is a really cool company. We'll put the URL uh, in the description below. Um, they make like, uh, I'll, I'll let her introduce it, but it's like, it's for DIYing your railing for your house. Anyways, she is the marketing manager for Cable Bullet, and she's been working with one of our um, star client managers, account managers named Glenn Wilson for a year. Her one year anniversary with us is coming up. And so uh, we just wanted to see, hear about the journey that she's been through. So hi, Julia. How are you? Hey, Regina. I'm good. Thank you for having <laughs> me. I appreciate it. I so, appreciate you being here. <laughs> awesome. Cable Bullet's journey with Solutions 8 got started uh, about a year and a half ago. Me and my marketing team were attending the Ad World uh, conference digitally or uh, virtually. And so we ended up seeing uh, Kasim and he was talking about uh, Performance Max and kind of just had this really passionate talk about Performance Max. And me and my boss were slacking back and forth. Like, this guy's really cool. He seems to know a ton about Google Ads. And so through that, we ended up finding you guys on YouTube, watching all of your awesome videos. And then, you know, down the road, when we wanted to kind of offload some of this Google Ads work, we were already very confident in your abilities to manage Google Ads and your expertise. So we were able to to pass that off. And we've been really happy so far with, with Glenn and everyone at Solutions 8. It's been a really good experience. That's so great. I, I didn't know about how you found us and your history with Solutions 8. Um, can you tell everyone just a, a quick pitch on what Cable Bullet sells and why, uh, why it's different from the competition? Yeah, of course. So we sell residential cable railing. It's that, you know, modern kind of uh, thin railing that you might see on like decks, stairs, or patios. And kind of our, our key differentiator is that we're a DIY friendly uh, cable railing company. Uh, years ago, the company was started um, by a man named Dan Schlaughter, and he was actually a DIYer and a contractor himself. And he went to install cable railing on a client's deck. And so he realized that there were no real DIY friendly options out there that were also super high quality. So he decided, I'm just going to create my own. And that's kind of how Cable Bullet got started. And so we've been in business for about seven years now and the company is growing and it's just been really, really cool to see. And so with that, you know, we've had to, we've had to scale our ads quite a bit and that's kind of where Solutions 8 comes into play. All right. That's, um, yeah, I was checking out the site and I really, I actually, um, I'm in the process of buying a home right now. And I actually messaged um, on the website as a client the other day to ask if it would be a good fit. Um, but whoever answered said that you guys are in the process of creating like um, a sliding, a sliding gate situation and also like a, a, a walkthrough gate situation. And those are two things that I will need to figure out. So I probably can't go with cable, cable bullet this time, but maybe for my next house. <laughs> maybe <laughs> next time. We'll, we'll yeah. be here. <laughs> yeah, we'll be here. Anyways. Okay. So, um, so can you talk to me about your experience over the past year working with Glenn? Maybe we can talk about, um, you know, some of the, um major milestones that you and glenn went through or actually let's back up and talk about why you uh hired us as in what kinds of like challenges and pain points cable bullet was experiencing um that you were hoping glenn could help you solve yeah so a couple of years ago we were kind of at a place where uh our account was growing, you know, we're spending a ton with Google, um, but we just didn't have the time to manage the day to day. You know, I only had about four to eight hours a week to really optimize and manage the account. And so 
um, we just didn't think that we were truly getting as much as we could have out of the account. And so that's when we decided it was time to, to pull the trigger and hire Solutions 8. I think also like scaling was an issue as well. Um, and we knew that you guys had some really good experience with that. Uh, we were also navigating like Performance Max. That was a new campaign type for us. Um, so it just seemed like the right time to to pass things off. And we're glad that we did. Okay, yeah. So you you were running the ads yourself and you were getting a cost per lead that was probably too high and you weren't willing to grow the budget until the cost per lead, until you could find a way to lower the cost per lead. I'm, I'm guessing based on what you said, is that right? Absolutely. You, okay. You it. okay, so you signed up with us and you were hoping first thing that the cost per lead could be lowered. Do you remember, I know this was a whole year ago, but do you remember kind of what happened with the cost per lead? How did you, how did, I know it did lower in the end. Um, I can see the average over the past year that the cost per lead was lowered about 35 to 40% um, with my rough math based on what your goal is with us. So the average over the past year is about 35, 40% lower than your, than your goal CPL. Um, so... At some point that happened, maybe not right away. Can you tell us about kind of some of the milestones you remember when you first started working with uh, the team? Yeah, cost per lead reducing was huge for us. Um, some of the other things that happened as we were being onboarded, uh, Solutions 8 did a wonderful job of just going into our account and fixing all of the little uh, details like one of the things that we had kind of messed up on that we had no idea about was we were double counting our offline conversion tracking in HubSpot. So, um, so that was kind of a big deal. Uh, they also did a really good job of like integrating our our Shopify with our account so that Google was able to we we're feeding Google all of the most accurate data and all of the data that we had to further optimize the quality of our our leads and sales um, contacts. So that was amazing. Um, one of the things that, one of the optimizations that Glenn had made to our account was, um, and I'll back up a little bit, Our to give you just some context here, our business is very much uh, unique for a an e-commerce store. So customers can either go online and kind of purchase all of the items that they want to buy, put them in their cart, and then check out or they can fill out an estimate request and then our sales team puts together a quote for them. So it's like we were constantly wondering, you know, should we be going after sales or should we be going after leads? And Glenn did something that we had never thought of before and he created just two separate campaigns and it was a, an even split between sales and leads. And that was something we hadn't really thought about before. Um, he also put in place a really interesting um, like lead qualification um, kind of funnel for us as well. Uh, so that those are just a couple of the the milestones that we hit. We also launched YouTube campaigns, which it turns out those have been highly successful for us. I think those are contributing to about uh, making up like thirty percent of our estimate requests now. So lots of lots of improvements wow. to our. Account. And needless to say, we were just thrilled. Like we're we're seeing even. I mean just huge increases in the number of leads we're getting the quality of leads it's it's been really fantastic like we're we projected a 10 percent increase in in leads over last year and we're up to 85 percent up over oh our for this year so um you guys are crushing it and we're thrilled <laughs> Wow. Um, wow. 80, 85% increase. Um, yeah. Is our sales team a little stressed maybe? <laughs> yeah. Your sales team is stressed. Is that what you said? Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Glenn said that you recently asked him to lower the budget in the account. Um, yeah. so I'm assuming that's, that's related to, to that increase. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our sales manager contacted me and said, hey, we're gonna need to back off that spend just a little bit because I don't know if we can handle all these leads. And oh, no. that's a great problem. <laughs> that's a great problem. <laughs> great, okay. Yeah, it is true that you are a unique business. I've, I've worked with businesses like yours where it's like half e-com, but it's half lead gen. And for, you know, 
99% of our clients is, is either in one bucket or the other. So it's very rare that we have a client that's in this medium ground. You're selling to, you're selling to consumers, but you're selling also to contractors. Um, and some of the sales are not going to be taken online because they are going to be invoiced to the client who then has to send it through a wire transfer or whatever. And so it's, hard, it's really important to make sure that you're feeding all the data that you have that you can even not just the leads that come from a Google interaction, but all of the sales that happen in the store so that it has a lot to work with and a lot to optimize from. Um, and then I think that prop, I'm assuming something that Glenn did, I haven't checked, but I'm just assuming is all of the leads, right? Anyone that asks for, what did you call it? An estimate. Mm -hmm. um, what he probably did is assigned a conversion value, like a nice big conversion value to that so that the algorithm um, doesn't just go after the online sales and it, because some of, sometimes the bigger sales are the ones that are looking for quotes. So, you know, making sure that the algorithm is also focused on, on leads by assigning a value every time there's a lead is probably, um, one important strategy. And then, yeah, th that you're also unique because it's a product that nobody knows exists. Um, and so those outbound, outbound YouTube definitely needs to be part of your strategy. And uh, going back to that 99%, 99% of our smaller um, clients, we say, we'll start at the bottom of the funnel. And as you get bigger, you're going to move to the top of the funnel, top of the funnel being outbound YouTube. The one exception to that is if you're selling a product that nobody knows exists. Because you have to, unfortunately, invest in top of funnel right away because you have to get the word out. And that can be a tough strategy. You know, you need to make sure your all your videos have a nice hook. You can set up video sequencing. Um, you can um, make sure to hyper target the, the audience because out, outbound YouTube will just spread its budget across a billion people and no one will remember seeing the, the video. So um, cool. Yeah. That's everything that went through my head as you were telling me about your journey with Glenn. Um, that's great. So, uh, so, so now, what are you guys um, looking forward to in the future? So, you lowered your budget a bit while the sales team recuperates. Are you hiring? Are you gearing up to re to scale again, <laughs> or are you like this is enough yes. for us for now? <laughs> Gonna say yes. We are actually hiring. We're hiring people uh, to add to our sales team, which is really exciting because uh, to be completely honest, we didn't think that we had the ability to scale um, like we've done working with Glenn. You know, you, you meet um, with agency project managers and account managers, and they're always going to tell you that you can scale and really quickly. Um, so when Glenn told me, oh yeah, we can like double the size of your account. <laughs> I, I didn't really believe him at first. Now I definitely believe him. <laughs> and we're definitely uh, kind of having to make adjustments to the rest of our company in order to accommodate for the high number of leads, which I think is exactly what we wanted. We just didn't expect it so soon. Um, but it's exciting. Yeah, we're adding to the team. We're adding to our marketing team as well to kind of feed more of that top of funnel content piece, like you said, uh, because historically we have been really focusing on Google search ads, bottom of the funnel, but now we're really in a position to nurture those leads from beginning to end. So now, you know, we don't just have to connect with people at the bottom of the funnel, but we can then educate people at the top of the funnel, um, work on more demand generation stuff so that when people are ready to make uh, that cable railing purchase, which is a pretty big purchase sometimes, um, you know, they need to have that extra confidence so we can really start to focus in on kind of feeding all levels of the funnel and not just focus on like Google search ads or Google shopping ads. Um, so yeah, we're excited to go. It's like you're making, you're creating your own market with the top of funnel. It's that's why it's a challenging business and you guys have been at it for seven years. You're now seeing wild success, but like, um, props for keeping at it because it's really hard to build a market where one doesn't exist. You know, people looking for DIY cable railing isn't really a thing. Um, so it's, you know, searching for people, I mean, trying to bid on people at the bottom of the funnel who, when you haven't already built your own market at the top means you have to go after people that are just looking for cable railing. And then you have to try to like, be like, do you want the DIY version by any chance instead? <laughs> you know, and like, it's going to have a lower conversion rate because, you know, most of those people aren't looking for that. So that's great. I'm so glad this strategy is working for you. 
Um, okay, well, that is all of the questions I had for you. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so. Other than if you're if you're considering hiring Solutions 8, please do because you will not be sorry. <laughs> we have had the most wonderful experience working with them. And I'm very skeptical of agencies. So I yeah, we we've just seen a ton of growth and we're super excited for this coming year. But um, work with Solutions 8 because they they deliver on what they say they're going to deliver on. Thank you. That's wonderful to hear. You hear that, Glenn? More clients coming your way. Get ready. Good job. <laughs> <laughs>just to give you some context uh, john basically the the main concern that the client has is in regards to lead volume i've been trying to run the account in broad on a pcp 